Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look at the Smartron SRT phone and this is the Sachin Tendulkar phone, the, the phone by Master Blaster uh, and as you can see uh, very minimalistic branding, nothing much on this. This is a review unit that was sent to me by the company and uh, it just says here it's uh, powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon. Uh, actually, it's running on the Snapdragon 652 chipset. Let's open this up and uh, let's have a closer look. And it says SRT phone is the name. And if you open it up, again, we have a Sachin Tendulkar uh, saying, it says, don't stop chasing your dreams because dreams do come true, Sachin Tendulkar. And uh, this is the phone itself, uh, as you can see, let's just pull this out. So this is the smartphone, uh, let's peel this and pull this out. I'll come to the smartphone a bit later, we have some, yeah, so this is it. It's having a 5.5 inch uh, screen, we'll come to this one later. Let's see what else do we get in the box. So we have this uh, quick start guide, basic stuff uh, that gives you an idea about where are the ports. The back cover can be opened and you put your SIM cards via that on this uh, phone. So very basic guide that we are getting. And apart from that, what else? Uh, looks like a USB cable in this one. Let's open this up. Yes, it's a USB Type-C uh, connector. So that's good to see that we are getting the USB Type-C connector. And here looks like this is the power brick. And uh, they say that this is a Qualcomm Quick Charger uh, 2 that we are getting. So uh, this is a quick charger. Uh, yes, as you can see here, it's very faintly uh, written. Uh, so this is an 18 watt Qualcomm quick charger that we are getting in the box with this one. So that's also a nice thing. And what else is this? So uh, that's it. That's what we get in the box. No earphones, uh, uh, sadly, in the package, but that's what we are getting. So let me keep these things to the side and let's have a closer look at the phone itself. So this is the phone itself. As you can see, it's uh, having a 5.5 inch uh, screen. And uh, let me actually give you a physical overview first. On the top, we have the 3.5 mm headphone jack, secondary noise cancellation microphone. The power on of button is strangely on the top on uh, this phone. And here we just have the volume uh, rockers. And on the bottom, we have uh, two vents, uh, but only one is the speaker, uh, USB Type-C port. And on this end, we have uh, nothing. Uh, moving to the back, we have a 13 megapixel rear facing camera with LED flash, the Smartron branding, and this is the fingerprint uh, scanner. And uh, it says SRT phone and designed and engineered in India. So that's a nice thing. And as I told you, this back cover can be opened. And regarding the configuration, uh, this comes in two, uh, 64 gigabyte variant and 32 gigabyte variant. And uh, we can add your two SIM cards over here. Do note that this phone does not support the micro SD card. So uh, storage, you have to decide between 32 GB and uh, 64 GB, but it does support cloud storage and that's unlimited cloud storage. And regarding the pricing, uh, the 64 gigabyte variant uh, will be sold for 13,999 and the 32 GB variant will be sold for 12,999 via Flipkart. Good thing is that uh, both the model comes with four gigabytes of RAM. So uh, this is the boot up screen and by the time it boots up and I set it up, let me actually give you a configuration overview. The Smartron SRT is powered by the Snapdragon 652 chipset. It has the Adreno 510 GPU. It comes with 4 GB of RAM, 64 or 32 GB internal storage. It has a 5.5 inch 1080p screen with Gorilla Glass 3 protection. It also comes with Qualcomm Quick Charger 2, a 13 megapixel rear facing camera, a 5 megapixel front facing camera. It also has fingerprint and NFC support and it comes with 3000 mAh battery. By the way, guys, this is the first boot of this device. Uh, the screen is actually really vibrant. Let's uh, see if it has auto brightness sensor and uh, looks like uh, very close to stock Android. And uh, so that's what we are getting. And you can just pull that app. You can touch like this. And so this is the app tray and it looks like it does not have a lot of bloatware. Let me actually adjust the brightness a little bit. Let's go to the settings and see what is the Android version uh, that we are getting uh, with this. And uh, let's go here. First, let me check, uh, go to the display. Adaptive brightness is off. So let's just, if you switch that on, as you can see now, it's this is the uh, 
auto brightness and right now as you can see we have this uh, physical home button but we can enable uh, the software buttons if you want so that option is given i like that uh, companies are now providing this uh, option between hardware keys and uh, software keys so that's what it is let's just go back and uh, let's look at the android version that we are getting so uh, we are getting android version 7.1.1 which is android no good the latest version of uh, android so nice to see that we are getting the latest version of android with this one and the company representatives actually uh, told me that this phone will be getting very fast android updates so that's what they said and uh, let's also look at the storage out of that uh, 64 gigabytes as you can see we get about 58 gigabytes of uh, storage available so that's a good thing so that means uh, uh, we don't have a lot of bloatware that was pre-installed on this device so out of 64 we get 58 gigabytes on this 64 gigabyte uh, model so let's go back and memory out of that uh, four uh, gigabytes uh, we get free memory that is 2.5 uh, uh, gigabytes so that's regarding uh, the storage and as you can see the layout uh, here is very close to stock android uh, that you would uh, expect and it also has tap and pay that means it has nfc support so uh, again that's a nice thing let's just go back and uh, let's see the pre-installed app obviously these are google specific apps we also have microsoft apps that are uh, pre-installed and uh, that's it not a lot of bloatware that we have we also have a file manager and fm radio support is there and let's also test its uh, camera but before that let's also test the fingerprint scanner i have already uh, set up the fingerprint scanner so let's check that and the power on button is here on the top that's a weird position and uh, let's try the fingerprint scanner now and as you can see the fingerprint scanner is working well let's try it again i'm tapping and it unlocks so the fingerprint scanner looks to be actually very responsive on this phone so you just tap in and it unlocks but uh, i don't like the position of the power on off button uh, that is on the top anyways let's uh, also look at the camera uh, it's a 13 megapixel uh, rear facing camera with the pdf that's face detect autofocus that's what they said and uh, let's just switch this on and the camera app uh, looks pretty uh, basic but uh, tap to focus is there and they have customized uh, some modes over here as you can see you can switch between 4 is to 3 and uh, auto manual mode and even hdr mode is given and let's see if it can record the video at what quality the video recording yes it can record up to 4k as you can see so that's a nice thing let's just go back and let me actually take some sample shots so that you get a better idea regarding the camera performance so here are some of the sample shots that i have shot around my office with this uh, smartphone srt phone so that you have a better idea again i'll have to test the camera performance a lot more so that's it for now for this uh, quick look at this uh, smartron srt phone and uh, before i end this unboxing uh, regarding the what do you say in hand feel the phone feels actually pretty light to hold for a 5.5 inch screen uh, because the back everything is actually made up of uh, plastic so though it's having the 5.5 inch screen uh, it is not that uh, heavy so guys uh, that's it for now for this uh, quick unboxing and first look at the smartron srt phone or you could say the sachin tendulkar phone so what do you think about this uh, device if you have any other specific questions around this device do post your questions in the youtube comment section below and i'll try to answer them thanks for watching this video and if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video